Hello and welcome everyone to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CB Cubed. You just kind of let me hang in there a little bit, huh? Well, I was, you know, I was going for like the opposite of last week when I was doing my jingle thing. Oh, yeah. I see. So, the, so like Beth, Beth got after you so much about the shower singing that you were just sort no, of like. I'm just like. Monotone. Monotone. What if you were just monotone for the entire episode? That would be so boring. It would be. It would be really difficult to, to banter off of. Yeah, yeah, not going to do that. That's good, that's good. So it's going to be a very exciting episode. Let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Can we get something besides raucous pummeling? We're about to find out! Let's see it! Or don't see it, who knows? It's gonna be... Oh my god, it almost got there again. It's Salad Energy! We get to change the board! Yay! Really? I'm, I'm actually just slightly excited. Just like a little bit, you know? I feel like it's... I feel like, like Eevee has definitely had you know, their time in the sun to, to hang out and to be glorious right there in the centerfold, but to have a whole wall of Eeveelution skateboards and to always have like the standard one to be like dead center in the middle between our shoulders here where you can actually see them like proper, you know, it just doesn't seem right. So, you talking about that punk Eevee? Yeah, I was talking about yeah. the punk Eevee. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of the way. Man, you know what it occurs to me that maybe we forgot to get a box out. <laughs> Hold on! Pushka! Pushka! You want to tell them about the randomly chosen common chase cards? I would love to, guys. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Lunatone, Herdior, and Finizen. Finizen, Herdier, Lunastone, Finizen. Yeah, those. I know them. how to say all three of them. Thank cool. goodness. Thank goodness. None of them line up with the uh, energy, the uh, type advantage this week. So. so, no major bonuses on the table for that one. As a reminder, we currently have Team Water atop the team competition with 73 points, followed by Team Fire with 54, Team Grass with 26, and poor Team Electric all the way there at the bottom with just 24 points. Otherwise, on the main leaderboard, we have not Lord of Team Water in first place with 26 points. We have a two-way tie for quality eighth place between Stefan and Susie and Braun. That's two different entities. Uh, and then we have Games Bun and Aaron and Tony who are both currently tied for the Big Steve prize where we are looking for someone to have uh, basically to beat the Entei, and en yeah, Entei, yeah. which is worth 24 cents while also scoring five points. Five points, yeah. yeah. And then there's just a huge number of people tied for last place. So. Yes, indeed, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll keep a lookout on all of those. Without any further ado, let's start with Marcos! Marcos, here we go, coming off of a nice 14-point season last time. Very solid, very respectable, you know. No one's complaining about that, but... Rock is public. Oh, if man. only it was last week, Marco. I, I got so used to that being a good thing. Finizen. Oddish, Dratini, Charmander, Darmanitan, Stoutland, Frogadier. Uh oh, a critical hit right up the top. Whoa. Recovers, gets the. Wait, did it get Pawn Art in here too? No. Okay. Okay. Pawn Art and the Ice Q. Okay. All okay. right. So, man, almost had a four times multiplier had it only been last week, but it's not. Oh man, unfortunately that Ice Q though does fall into the category of EX cards that are worth less than one point. Wow. At just so, 85 cents. So but with the multiplier going to be a six point season for Marco. So where there we go. Well done. There we go. Not a bad showing whatsoever. There you go. Way to kick us off. Way to kick us off with something exciting, you know? All right, next up we have Monkey Bacon, the father-son dream team. They've been playing with us back since season four. 
Coming off of a uh, 12-point season here. All right, let's see. We've got the Eyeball Energy. Love to see it. The New Mel, the Tadbulb, the Sinisty, the Pawniard, the Aspion, the Sharpedo. They're always together. They are always together. It is so strange. The uh, the Noon, the Mawile from last week, the Amoongus will, will not... Score. Or it, it will score. I'm yeah. so sorry. There we go. And the Scovelin. Scovelin is going to so, be two. So just two points for old Monkey Bacon well, over three. Three, three points. Because the Scovelin for... counts twice, Ben. Jeez. I know. I'm sorry. I need to brush up. On my, on, my, on my rules. It's okay, it's okay, we'll figure it out. There we go, three points, four monkey bacon, 1.5 each, you'll love to see it. There you go, there you go. Next up, we have got uh, the Blue Swede. They're back! They are back, the hated rival of Dalton Green, who if oh. I recall, came in guns blazing this time around. Let's see, where, where is Dalton Green on the old? Yeah, 16 <laughs> points on the scoreboard. So the Blue Swede, I think after taking a season off, is back with us He's in the back. action. That's right. And so we're about to see how they pick up after their last performance in season eight. Oh boy, they said Dalton Green, you got a type advantage, so do I. Wow. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, there we go. The combi is right there. The toad school. Lots of otherwise. They, they were like, no matter what they are, I got it covered. I got it covered. All seasons worth of stuff here. Armor Rouge. The Diglate oh even would have worked. The Toxtricity. Oh, oh it's only going to be four points after all that. Just four points for the Blue Swede. That is too bad. You hate to see it. So Dalton Green gets to walk away with this one between the rivalry, but either which mm. way. Enjoy that Toxtricity. You know, it's headed there your you way. Go. It's coming your way. And uh, well, I like it. almost all of the chase cards from the season were in that pack. I know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> all right, next up we have Aureus Khan. Aureus Khan. All right, I believe it's up to you this time. All right, let's see. Go. All right, Aureus Khan. Roll Aureus. <laughs> I'm just feeling good about this box in general. You, you know, think so? sometimes you this got like, the gut one? feeling. It's like all the like like little packaging. It seems like very like yeah. just so you know. Just so. It's like they, they really packed this one neatly and they must have done it for a specific reason. So we got the Lightning Bolt Energy, we got the Surf Kit, which will score. score. Tim Pole, the Dollar will score, the Bonsley, the Grumpig, the, the Trevenant, Trevenant will score, the Belly Bowl, the Young Goose will not, the Zigzagoon will not, and the Toxtricity, Toxtricity is back. Jeez. So four, four points, points for Arreus Khan. So anyway, I mean, that's if, so we started with six. You know, I mean, it, I, we're having decent numbers, I guess. Six, three, four, four. I mean, uh, you know, I mean no points one, are going up. No one's up. at like one point or anything. All right, next up we have Sir Dobbington. Sir Dobbington. <clears throat> there he is. His girl dad will be watching episodes with the whole family. All right. Oh, well, we love let's to see go. it. Let's go. Let's do something fun for the fam. Let's I go. Know. Plus, I got a soft spot for girl dad since I'm a girl dad myself. Right. So Let's see it, Dobbington. The metal energy. We have the Finizen, the Baltoy, the Rowlet will score, the Diglett, the Bear Tick, the Charmeleon, the Excadrill, the Audino, oh, the Clava! And the Entei, boy. We've seen the Clava a few times and I just love it. It's so cute. I do too. I mean, honestly, it's not a bad scoring card at $5.24. That's six, seven, eight. Eight point pack. Eight point pack for Sir Dobbington. There what an go. amazing showing. Hope nice. you and the fam are doing great Give there. Give to your little girl. In the living room, all just hanging out, hanging you know, out. watching the big TV. Mm -hmm. Good times, good Catching times. Catching them up Box breakers. Every week they're like, is this gonna be our week? It was! It was! There you go. And they tell your friends they're like, they're like, yeah, we're super into boxing. And they're like, well, not what you think. It's not what you think. Not what you think. Not what yeah. you think. Yeah. Different kind different, of boxing. Different Much kind of smiling. boxing. Yeah. Next up is Aiden! Like it's oh, you. it's me, man. Yeah, it's I'm you, just not paying Come attention on. to what, what my job yeah. is today. Yeah. My head is everywhere. Alright, Aiden. We can do this. We can do this. Let's go. The special box, the neat box. Let's see, we got the Teardrop Energy, we got the Charcadet, the Toxel, the Lillipop, the Heatmore, the Dharmatan, there you the go. Patrol Cap. <laughs> I just see a little plow right through it. What was that, Ben? <laughs> Nothing. The Dharmatan? Yeah, I didn't say anything. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's see here, the Doug Trio, and the, the Entei. is everywhere. We're getting like back-to-back -back toxicities into back-to-back -back Entei's. This box is... I know, something's some, up with it. Something's there's, there's, screwy going on here. But maybe it means that there's going to be back-to-back -back Zards. Maybe, you know what that's I mean? what we can it's only like, hope. If, if it's going to be back-to-back -back and in ways that are less fun, it'll be back to back in ways that are more fun. That's the only way that makes sense. All right, next up we have Anthony, who I want to say is the brother of last season's winner. Uh, Chase. Chase. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's see it, Anthony. What you got? What you got? Can you bring home another win for the family? Let's Here see. we go. We got Dark Teardrop, Audino, the Litwick, the Nosefast, the, the Fungus. fungus. Trampa, the Sharpedo, with the Espeon again. Again! <gasps> Critical hit on the Fungus! Okay, okay. Here we go. And the Maridon! We haven't seen that at all this season. No, we sure have not. Number 79 on the set. I don't even know what to think. $1.49, so two points 
for the Maride on two points. So yes. one, two, three, four times two is going to be eight points. Eight points. Honestly, not there bad. You go. Not Fire bad. throwing down the eight points today. That's the oh, second boy. pack in quick succession. I'm trying to score some points to catch up with water there. Get that pin. I know, I know. Yeah, I mean, water's going to need some some serious damage control done because uh, against them that is because they I think in the top. They have, I think, currently five players in the top nine, Man. which is just unbelievable. That is, that's really hard to come back against. But uh, maybe Grass can do it with Kernak McClagan. Kernak, the rival of skill. Skill, yeah, yeah. Because we got Kernak over there playing, <clears throat> playing keeper for, you know, those guys. Old Lion Door. Yeah, Lion Door, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we got Togepi, uh, Cry Cryogonal. Uh, Sure, cryogonal. Yeah, like hexagonal. Diagonally. Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> exactly. Cryogonally. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, Town store, Casper Kid, the Flamingo, the Bronzong, the Bear Tick, the Buffalo. Buffalo. The Smoliv will score in the, the Gita. Gita. Get out of here. I love it. It's back. It's back. It's always funny. The first Wait, time that was a three point. Back. It was a three I wrote point one, back. but it was three. It was three. <laughs> okay. It was like Gita. That must be a three. That's so funny. Of course, of course, Gita is worth so many points. All right. So grass, grass still hasn't pulled it back yet, that even, wasn't even it. with the the hyper athletic Kernak. Exactly. Next up, we've got Brick Frog for Team Electric. They're just looking for any points, basically. I'm sure I brought this up, but I think of the song Crazy Frog every yeah. single time. Brick Frog, Crazy Frog, eyeball energy for Brick Frog. Magnemite, not whoa. Well, let's put that oh, down man. there. Amoongus will score with Seismitoad, Arbeliva, the Whooper, the Heat, more the Scovelin. So they're gonna pull what four points out? One, four two, points. three, four. Yeah, yep, indeed. Nice. Using there that type advantage to theirs. To well theirs. done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Enjoy the Scovelin. Scootle be bop a doop bop boom. All right, we got Big Jake. Big Jake. Big Jake on the board. Come out. So Big Jake had back-to-back 13-point -back seasons, but last season only put up two. Well, so Team can they return to form? Team Echoltricity wants. They want that 13 they do, yeah. performance, you know, to get them back on the board. So we got the Tim Pole, the Magneton, the Bi Sharp, the Shuckle will score, the Pokemon League headquarters. Lunatone so, scores. There we go. Yeah. The Serena will score, the Pro Bo Bass, that's the one. The Malamar will not score, and the Claydol. Claydol! Wow. So four points for Big Jake! Big Jake, a little bit better than last season, but probably not what uh, Electric was hoping for there. Maybe the not. The Claydol so strikes again. I know, but kind of interesting that, that Big Jake also tied with Big Steve. So we Got the Legion of Bigs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. four yeah. points. It's that big number. If you're looking to sign up and, and, and contribute to either the Legion of Lorens or the Legion of Bigs, mm. you know, you can do so by going over to patreon.com slash supercar gaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. Link in the description down below. Speaking of which, our next contestant just did that exact thing. That is Lockdown playing for their rookie season and today's Rookie of the Day award. That oh, coveted $10 Olive Garden gift. You can taste the breadsticks from here. I know. I almost went to Olive Garden last night. Did back. you? I did, yeah. We got in the car to go to Olive Garden, then we that went to was... Buffalo Wild Wings instead. Wow. Which is one of my other faves. Well, that is very good, yeah. Oh, look at this! Okay. Ad or Lockdown has come out guns blazing. LeChunk, Carvana, Ball Toy, Whooper, Floats, but can they capitalize? Kangas come the large char no the Bill Awesome will score, but the, the Gita! Oh man, get out of here! Brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> Crazy. Oh, Only going to be four points, oh, I'm afraid. Four points for lockdown. <laughs> but mark oh. it down. That might be enough to win you Rookie of the Day. We'll see. There are four rookies in the field today. All right. Well, well done. I love your name, by the way, Lockdown. Should have seen the Gita coming, because apparently it's just back to back everything today. Yep, yeah, it is indeed. All right. But coming up next, it is a Witch Storm. No space. No space. No, no space, space. Witch Storm. Let's see here. This is another uh, rookie of the day, so they only need to beat four points. All right, if they want to get to the if they want to get to the garden. If they want to, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. BT Dubs, any other chain restaurants? Oh wait, out there? fun fact about Witch Storm, they are friends with Cartavian. What? <laughs> fellow, fellow contender. That wow. is incredible. Well done. It okay. Says they enjoy watching the show together. Look at this. Oh! Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. All Witch right. Storm. All right. All right. We got this. Let's see it. Which storm? Clefairy. Crab Brawler. Yeah. Lillipop. Parnyar. Charmeleon. Extra Drill. Exca Drill. Exca Drill. Yeah. Pidgeotto. The Tim Pole. The Sinisty. Oh, oh the, the Palm on! The there it is. Off. So let's see. Number 73 on the set. Let's Can see what that does. Can it get us some points with the multiplier? 
It's gonna tie at least, so dollar forty-three times two. Okay, but that is probably the more the the leader, because this is gonna have been worth more I yes, think, than, than, than the Gita. Yes, yeah. yes, indeed. Okay, so. so at the moment, which storm has got rookie of the day? Well, you and Cartavian can head over to the garden. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. See we, how still the other got, we still got do. two more. Actually, the next one is here too. It is uh, Kingdom Come? Kingdom King Cam. Kingdom, Kingdom Cam. Kingdom Cam. I was like, Kingdom Come, that's an interesting name. All right, uh, he's a pa- oh, is it a, is it a pastor? Okay. It's a pastor. It's a pastor. Exclamation right. point. It's a pastor. <laughs> yeah, let me try that again. It's a pastor. Wow, all right, well, Kingdom Cam, let's go. How are we gonna do? We've seen the last two rookies have thrown down the type advantage, so yeah. can we get I doubt we get three in a row. Grass? That'd be oh, wild. That would've been wild. That's never happened before. Small live, but all you gotta beat is four points and you're already a quarter of the way there. Right, Weasel, Wooper, Grunt, Altari, the Mall, while the Lunatone will, will call the Pidgey out in the river room! Oh man, this is gonna be, this might be a new leader. The Pidgey out, I wanna say it's like the fourth best card in the set. I wanna say, yeah, it's, oh, it's gotta man. be up there. Unless it's not as good as the base version. Uh, you never know, Jay, you never know. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not worth as much as I thought it would be. With what? Eight dollars ninety cents. It's the same as the base version. Eight dollars ninety cents. We'll round up to nine, and give me nine, that rev 10, room. Nine, ten, eleven, and the rev of room is going to be two sixteen. Number two sixteen. Still on the back page, but only ninety five cents for the rev room. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. Twelve wow. points for King. Really Cam. thought the Pidgeot was gonna do it. That is just uh, I can't I gotta I gotta go look at the other Pidgeot. Hang on. I know. Is it, it's How, like, is it like the same one? Is it like a typo of sorts? I don't know. I don't have any idea what could be going on. I it's all pulled directly from the old interweb. So let's see. So the Pidgeot EX is eight dollars thirty seven cents. Okay. So this one is technically worth. I mean, not technically, it just is worth more. Um, but at, barely. But barely, yeah, at, at what did I just say, $8.90. Wow, so just a little bit more. You may as well just buy this one, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, $8.37, yeah, to $8, what did I just say? 60 90. 90. Maybe. All right. Well, there you go. Either way, you got two full art cards. You put up 12 points and are leading the Rookie of the Day. Rookie of the Day award there, Kingdom Camp. So. But poor Witch Storm and uh, I know, Cartavian. Yeah, I know. They were like, oh, we almost had it. Maybe you guys just maybe you guys just splurge and go anyway. Maybe just do it. Do, just it, do it, right? All right, next up we've got Dragon. Dragon. Here we go. I think it's you, right? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, go for it. Go Why not? for it. Why not? All right, Dragon, I got you. I got you. If I if I if I remember correctly, Dragon works for a space agency. That's what it says here. Works for a space agency. I like to think that Dragon is part of the uh, the organization that's building a tube to space right now, a straw to space. You know, I'm just gonna elevate right, it. Yeah, just an elevator. Just go and, like, stand in it and just like Jesus. just rock it into space. Boom. Not so bad. We got the Wiglet, the Rock Duff, the Rhyme, the Glimmit, the Lycan Rock, the Probo Pass, the Vengeful, the Houndour, Houndour, the Gita. Gita. There we go. And the, the Scizor. What a oh, man, Dragon. Get out of here. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, man, two points on the board for Dragon and the Scizor. So who's the real winner, right? Who is the real winner? You got a Gita and a Scizor. Plus, I mean, you're working on that tube to space. Exactly. So, I mean, all Let things know when it's done. pointing up. Literally. Here we go. All right, next up it is uh, JR, a.k.a. Jellyfish Rookie. Yes, As yes. we've written it down on the card. This is one of those where it's like we have to clarify because JR did not tell us that their name was Jellyfish Rookie. We just assumed we that's just what it was. We just assumed that's what we wrote it down and that's what they'll be forever. All right, they have got a water energy, so not type advantage. You have the Steeny, the Houndour, the Toad School. No. Camera up. Lapras, the Masquerade. Spoink! Spoink! Charcadet and Scizor! Oh, God. Seriously, the back to back rares is getting wild. This is going to be three points for Jellyfish Rookie, aka JR. Aka okay, JR. Well done to old Jellyfish. Bam! There we go. Throw that over here. Next up, we've got another power couple. It's Haley and Colin. Haley and Colin. Looks team like maybe Haley and Colin took a break from season nine, or I just didn't write it down. <laughs> that seems so unlikely. It does seem so unlikely, but I don't have any points for them for last season, or that's, at least not written down. That's okay. That's okay. So we got Haley and Colin possibly making a comeback. Uh, we got the Metal Energy, the Charcadet, the Meltan, Scyther. the Scyther. That'll score the Zigazoon. 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 Dragonair, Armor Rouge, Amoongus, the Eevee. Oh, oh it's the Zor! Oh, Haley 
and gosh. Colin have done it. Wow, there it is. And a dark ride on top. There you go. We have, we have, oh man, that's we so have pulled, exciting. We have pulled the chase card. We have Haley pulled. and Colin. We have pulled the chase card. This is we it. This have is the, the done we, it. Finally. I feel like it's been a while on the show. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is. Look the, at that. How many points, Ben? 47, 77, so wow. 48, 48 points. 49, 50, 51, and a Scyther to boot. Probably the best pack ever. Wow, and and so this is unbelievable. But so far, each episode, we've had somebody new take the lead. Man, well, what's crazy here, Ben, is how is this going to affect the team competition? Because this is Team Electric. Oh, man. Throwing 50 points on the board. I know, I That's mean. going to be a minimum, well, like, I, I don't know what their fifth place is. Obviously, this will replace Look that. at this. So it's amazing. So coming into the day, just for simple math, Math. Electric had 24 points and water had 73. Right. So 51 points will raise them up to 75 points. Oh my gosh. Three, four. Okay, so their fifth place person was had four points, so that'll get erased. So you bring it down to 20 and add 51, it's exactly 75. Wow. Wow. So it's actually still very close between electric and water. It is extremely close, despite yes. despite the, oh my gosh. That but is, it is not close for first place, which is now with a commanding 51 points going to Haley and Colin. That is awesome. Well oh done, you guys. Well done. That Enjoy is just amazing. It. That Zard is heading to you. Uh, and I gotta tell you, I, feel, I find it to be a win for the whole show, for me. Me, Jay, everybody who's watching, whenever we pull a chase card, like the ultimate chase card of the set, it's like, y'all, we did it. We did it. We did it. That's so great. Enjoy. Congratulations. That's very amazing. fun. All right. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat that faith, but you know, you got to have faith. <laughs> It's so, it's so hard to follow that act. I know. Although but, uh, we've, we've had a bunch of mirrored images. I know, you know? right? It's like, we said it earlier. You know what? Back to back those Zards, man. Back to back those Zards. What was the other rare card in here? Because there was there another one? It was the dark ride. It'll be okay. a dark It'll ride. It'll be a dark ride. Yeah, that's yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah. Is that what's going on? The Rock is pummeling. So we have the Phantom, the Vulpix, the Boon Sweet, the Froakie, Bufalon, Crabominable, King Gambit, Lillipup, Tynamo, and Dark Ride. Called it. We called it from a mile away. So three <laughs> points. Oh, oh man, you were so, so close. close. Poor was so the saving grass. Oh man, from uh, what is now last place. It's funny that their name is Faith, and that was a the almost saving grass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> If only. Sorry, Faith, but there you go. Enjoy your dark ride. Yes, yes, indeed. All right, next up, Old Ben is our final Rookie of the Day contestant. It's Rachel Dubs. All right, let's see who's Rachel name. W. Rachel W. I already gave you a nickname, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see, Rachel W., what we can do for you today. All right. All right, this says Rachel W. got her niece obsessed with Pokemon and is also a big Taylor Swift fan and is seeing her in June! What? That's wow. amazing! I'm very jealous. Pretty I tried good. to get tickets and I aspire to, to get so. my niece obsessed with Pokemon as well. So. Oh, yes, I think that'll probably happen gonna because happen. my daughter loves Jay. It's gonna happen, like, guys. I can, I can get her out of bed by being like, Jay will be there, and she's like, all right, I'm up. I'm up. I'm, I'm up. up. I'm in. Right. The Hurtier will score. I think it might be our first one of the day. Oh, I think the Finizen right. will also score. The Oddish will score. And the Oddish will score, and the Dratini won't score, and the Skarmory won't score, and the Shapita would have Again with the Sharpedo and the Espion though. They're like print next to each other. Oh, that no. Gloom is so pretty though. That is that is so. Oh man, that is so what? gorgeous. I and love it's it. actually grass, so it gets one extra point. Okay, amazing, amazing. Okay, so keep track of that. So this has been a fun pack too. This is cool. Uh, poor, this poor Faith I tucked know. in between the Haley and Colin and Rachel W. W. All right, so let's check that out. So number one ninety eight. Even if it's not worth anything, it's so pretty. Oh my god, this this box had that Pidgeot and the Zard. In it. Yeah, so the gloom's gonna come crazy. in at two dollars thirty-six cents. So it's gonna be three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Eight points. There we go. Eight points for water, who continues to put it up, but that will not be enough to beat uh, our pastor friend for rookie of the day. Wow. If I recall, because I think they had twelve points with the Pidgeot, right? Yes. Yes, you are yes. correct. Yep. So eight points there. So that was honestly pretty tightly contended, but that also means that Kingdom Cam. Uh, we'll be taking home the Olive Garden gift guard on the day Boom. with a commanding 12 point lead. So well done and congrats to you as well. There you go. All right, next up we've got Tex. Tex. Tex, here we go. What do we got? And we pull something big. I mean, it feels like 
We pulled like two of the biggest cards in the uh, set. Today. It does feel like we've done some some heavy so lifting. Good, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Daramaka. We got the Surskin, the Tiny Amos, Spoink! Link alone. A lot of pigs in this one. Letter of Encouragement, Chandelure, Graveyard, the Glimmet, and the Ice Cube! There you go! All right, Dang, how about it? And we already pulled the, the big Ice Cube. We did indeed. So this one is just going to be worth a dollar nineteen. So it just rounds up to two. Two oh three with the surskit. There yeah. you go. For tax, three points for Team Grass, who is just floundering this they season. They're just having a tough season. There's no two ways about it. It's Even, hard to feel bad for them. I know. It's like watching such, the Yankees lose. Right. You know? it's, it's like, like well, well you whatever. know, sometimes they got to go down. Exactly. All right. Next up, we have Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Ooh aha. Did Heartbeat win something last season? They m maybe? I don't know. They might have had a last place thing. Maybe it was drawing hearts. Drawing ah, hearts drawing hearts. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be. Okay. All right. All right. So we got the lightning bolt energy there, the palpitoad, the squovit, the wiglet, the barboach, the seismitoad, the arboliva, the chandelure, the toad school, the float Look soul. Look at the water cards in this one. And, and then the T-Tar! What up? Man, I feel like we have like hit a freaking this stride. Was, this it's, was the box, man. I know. I said it. Didn't I say it? You did. You were like, this one feels good. The packaging good. looks nice. It does. So T-Tar is going to come in at just $1.50. We'll round up to two. Never a sad day to get Bam. a T-Tar, so how okay, many points so total is three. that? Three points. There we go, we'll there take we go. it. Enjoy that. This was the, yeah, okay. Boom. You, do, you got the energy. Oh! Sure they want that. Don't worry, I got your back. All right, next up is Jupiter Fox. Ooh! Jupiter Fox. Yes, no, I, I, I followed. Yeah, you go. But I also know. Yeah, you can see it. So, yeah, that's yeah. true, that's true. People at home might have been like, what, new player? Never heard of Jupiter Fox before. Never heard of him. Any relation? Any relator to Jupiter Fox? Here we go. Bam! Metal energy. We have the Inke, Cleffa, Larvitar, Varum, Gumshoes, Pupitar. Oh, that was there. Togetic, Larvesta, the Togepi! Boy, a lot of little tiny lines in here. And the Toga- look, you get the full line. The Toga- the Togepi, the Togetic, and the Toga Kiss. Not gonna matter, doesn't help your points. It's one point on the Toga one Kiss. One point on the Toga Kiss, wow. Do we, we Have we checked that one for value, number I 85? I think it's like 22 cents. Let's see, number 85. 18 cents. 18, my bad. Wow. I was confident enough to write it down before you told me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it made a huge difference. No, no, no. It doesn't affect anything, but that is that is a good one to know. That would be um, something to grab for a five-point pack that would get you ahead. That would be, In yes. a big C race. All right, next up we have another Lauren! Another Lauren! Here we go. That's actually their name. The word another is included in the name. Yeah, loves dark types. So would love to pull that Charizard, but I somehow doubt there's two in this box. Hey, Jay, you never know. But hey, there's a dark type! It's an excellent omen. It is. Got, and a Charmander. And a Charmander, very, yeah. wow. What, what would the freaking odds be? Yeah, do you know the Litwick, the Nosepass, the Lanoon, the Darmadana, the Dartrix? <laughs> oh, the Dark the critical, critical hit. hit! There we go. Here we go. The Zucchini will not score, and the, the Toga Kiss. Kiss. No! Dang no. it! <laughs> toga Kiss! I guess we should have seen it coming. We should have. Two points. Two points on the Toga Kiss. That, that, that box was work. that pack was working out so great. I know. It's like, know. man, maybe we'll just get like the base version or something. That'd be great. Nope. Charizard is a dark type in this set, and if you if you didn't catch on there. Yeah, no, I, I, I yeah. think I followed at least, and yeah. I feel like I'm not one keen to follow. There so. we go. All right, next up we've got Jazzy J Teruther. <sighs> Being opened by Jazzy J himself. <laughs> that's right. They've been doing, they've had some good seasons. 40, 24 points. That's pretty solid here. We've got the Eyeball Energy, the Combi, the Pidgey, the Smaller, Bunnelby, Volcarona, Pulsey Guys, Toad Scroll, Stoutland. Oh, the Pidgey, it's a critical hit, and the Claydol. Bam, so it's just going to be six points at the end of that. After the Pidgey uh, critical hit, there not so not so bad, not so not bad. So I mean, bad, making something out of nothing, as mm -hmm, they say. Mm -hmm. Well done with the Pidgeys, and, and kind of making an impressive clay doll. There you go. Yeah, got the clay doll strikes again, though. All right, next up we've got Karen. Karen. Ooh. For Team Grass. For Team Grass, you just need some points here. They really, they really just want to see that board. that lift come in somewhere along something the way. Something bigger. We got the Fireball Energy there. We got the Lechonk, the Tadbulb, the Glimmit, the Swablu, the Patrol Cap, and the Lossum. Pokemon League Headquarters, the Litwick will not score, the Houndor will not score. Oh, oh the Rhyme! Rhyme! That's pretty cool looking. That is cool. Let's Go see, number 221. On the set. I tell you, I don't know if Rhyme is... 
I don't think it's a very playable card, so I can't imagine this one's super duper. Yeah, I'm just coming in at dollar four there. We're on so up to two, two three plus points. Two plus the is three. But it's still a really cool looking full art. It card, sure so is. You yes. Take that to the bank and do literally nothing with it because exactly. it's not currency. Yeah, if you hand this to them and you're like, I'd like to deposit this, they're gonna be like, where? Like in the trash? Or <laughs> like, yeah. no! No! Give it works. back! It's sentimental! <laughs> it's worth two points! Gosh! Come on, man! And then you can just like storm down the street and go get like a sandwich. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Yeah, for your sandwich. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Opal Tano. Uh, of course related probably to Ahsoka Tano. Almost certainly. Yeah. Like an apprentice or, or family member. Sister. Third cousin. Yeah. Twice removed. Something like that, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's kind of like your conversation thing at like dinners where they're like, what do you do? And you're like, well, I'm related to Ahsoka. Like, you've heard it's like, of her. That counts! That counts! That's pretty good! It's not What's not she up to? And it's like, I don't, I really, she had to like detach all family life from it, so I don't really know her very well at all. Yeah, yeah. But, um... You know, we have we share a bloodline. It's like, oh, can you use the force? No, no, no I'm afraid no, not. But not, I do yeah. play a cool game online with the with awesome people. Yeah. So speaking of which, we have the type advantage going here. Cub Chew, Drillbur, Capsa Kid, Snubble, Patrol Cat, Patrol Cat, <laughs> the Lossum. Oh, the Snubble, the critical hit. Oh, the oh, wow. four times multiplier for Opal Tano on the Scovelin. Oh man, so let's see. We got the full evolution line. It's gonna be one, two, three, four times four. It's gonna be sixteen point pack. Sixteen points out there of you go. that is using the force. That Opal is Tano. using the force. Before you told us you Boom. couldn't do it, but now we know you can. There you go. Very impressive. Well done. I'm and impressed. a whole evolution line, right? Yeah, yeah, capsicated disc overload. There, there you go. go. There we go. Love it. That was pretty fun. Alright, next up is Shauna. Shauna! We had to restart our camera, so it's giving us like a little little wiggle there up top. Oh, so yeah. just letting it come on down. We basically just attached a broomstick to the ceiling and a camera to that with zip ties. So fortunately, it's never fallen off so far. <laughs> Let's see. We got, oh, we got oh, the, here uh, we go. There we go. There we go. We got the fungus. Yep. We'll score the Lechonk, the Carvana, the Baltoy, the Frogadier, the Stunfist, the Salazzle, the Surskit will score, the Cub Chew will not, and the Thunder. So just going to be six points. Six points. I with am the one afraid about that. But either way, type advantage, always very fun. There we go. I love that we got another four times multiplier in this. I know, so, I know. It's always exciting. That is it's my always favorite. exciting. It's like nothing better than when the game mechanics are doing their mechanic work. Right? It's like, oh, we designed it well. Then went to Maybe. mechanic school. Right. Exactly. We gotta bring their own tools. Right. Yeah, I get it. Because <laughs> mechanics have to bring their own tools. Exactly. What an excellent reference. Wow, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's my, you know, light knowledge of how auto <laughs> mechanics work. Next up is Alicia May. Uh basically Spider-Man, as far basically as we as far as we know. We, no one's told us otherwise. Yeah, no. I mean it's and it seems like somebody would have. So it's like, right. it's like, I can't tell you. Right. Has but anyone, I also won't say no. Has anyone ever seen Alicia May and Spider Man at the same place? Right? So that's all I'm saying. Right. All right, next up, let's see. We got the Water Energy, the Rowlet, the Boon Sweet, the Nine Tails, the Houndstone, the Bundle. Oh, the oh, Scissor and the Mel Metal. Mel Metal. Mel Metal. So, uh, unfortunately, not a uh, type advantage on Metal this week, but. Nonetheless, two great metal cards. Yeah, the Scizor is going to be 305, so that's four points. Four points. And then what number is this? Is 153 is going to be dollar thirty-four, so two so points. Two, so four, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight points for Alicia May, aka Spider-Man! Well done, and you get that scissor! Like, I can't believe how many of these we pulled and how many we personally did not pull. I know, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable, but I guess we did pull a lot of Jarzars. We did, so yeah. we can't, can't complain, complain too, too much. much. Yeah. Alright, next up we have Blood Vamp! Blood Vamp! Rival of Andriana. Oh yeah, there is a reason for that, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, me neither. Did we open for Andriana today? I, thought we, I think it was maybe last week. Last week, hang on, let's just take a quick peek and see if we can find Andriana at a glance. Oh, there it oh, is, there we 55. So Andriana had two points for Team Electric. Alright, so they're actually on the same team, so it's more of a friendly rivalry. Yeah, yeah. Friendly, we'll call it that. We'll that's call a, it that's that. That's a polite way to say yeah, it. Yeah, right. All right. So we have friends have like fang related rivalries. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But and they're already halfway there to beating them, so we'll see. We got the Charbander, the Young Goose, the Lunatone will, will score. score. Look at that. The Serena will score, and that's mm, it. That's basically the it. Yeah. Knock, the Nose Pass, the Varum, and the Palafin. So one, two, three, four points. Look at that. Blood Vamp looking over points. there at Andriana. Dunkin on Andriana. Oh, boom! What, what is that? Double score. Poor Andriana right now is watching. Like, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> what did I I do. No, you didn't do anything. And when I was opening for you, you were my favorite as well. Yeah. Well, you know, this is what happens when you take. Uh, there's um. This is what happens. There's there's fang violence. You know. Fa oh yeah, I yeah. get it. <laughs> fang yeah. violence. Really common in this particular area of right. the game. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next up, oh well, I thought, never mind. I was gonna say we have a rookie, but we don't. It's just Dieter56. Alrighty, Dieter56. Here we go. Actually, former rookie of the day, though. What do you know? With 12 points, so which With actually matches Kingdom Cam's win yeah, today. Yeah, I think you guys can like, share a virtual high five on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I heard it. I think maybe me. Oh, yeah, that could have been you. Okay, well, we'll never know. Hopefully, they did it. Probably they did. Dark Teardrop Energy, let's go. The Gloom will score. The Lunatone, the Serena. The Lycanroc, Inke, the Belly Bolt will not, and the Palafin will. So another four point pack here. Four point Nicely packs, done for backs. Dieter 56. There we go, there we go. Bam. All right, let's see. Next we have got Rab Rangoon. Like Crab Rangoon. Like Crab Rangoon. I like that we same. we always include the uh, how we pronounce things. Yeah. You know, it's just like as if it's like <laughs> you need to know as well how we have figured out how to pronounce yeah. this. All right, so we got the Rock is pummeling energy, which would have been good last week. It is useless this week. Useless. <laughs> the Steeny, the Tadbold, the Hound Bower, the Log Trio, the King of Scott, the Wish Cash, the Caps a Cas kid. Caps a kid, not Caspa kid. Like Capsaicin. Capsaicin. I get it. Yeah. I get it. The Oddish will score, as will the Dark Ray. There you go. Dark Rye. Dark Rye. One, two, three, four points. Four points again. Back to back to back. But everyone coming in sharing those four points with Big Steve, but no one can quite get to that five point spot. That five point spot. Well, had they got there, the dark cry feels like it would have been good to beat the the Entei. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but you didn't. But you didn't. Next time. Failed. Next All right. Next up, we have Matthias. Who? What? The Matthias. Thirty eight points in season seven. Well done. Goodness. That was a while ago. So let's see. Is it time to uh? Is it time to run it back, Matthias? Let's see. I mean, thirty eight points still won't get you into the lead for this particular competition, but it would be pretty close. They put you in second. It'd be good for grass. Rock is pummeling. Rock is pummeling. Right last week, but now useless. Useless. Try again. Weasel, Darumaka, Froki, Vulpix, Diggersby, So nope, Lunatone, not that one. Houndoom, the Wiglet, the Gumshoes, and wow, wow. you hate to see it. Yeah, you really do. Big Thunder, which Big I want to say thunder. does put you in a tie for last place. Thunder. Um, At 21 cents for the Thunderous. Wow, I am so. incorrect, so <laughs> don't party too early. <laughs> Actually worse than that. <laughs> it is worse than that. It's better but worse at the same time. Better but worse, you know? It's weird to be in that situation. Yep, yep. Alright, next up we have Wilhelmina. Alright, Wilhelmina. Alright, Wilhelmina, we got this. We got this. <clears throat> Every other time I was opening a pack today, it was just for funsies, but this is for serious. This is, it. This is for serious. This is the time that's for serious. We got the Litwick. The Pidgey. The Fungus, look at that, we're on the board, man! Yeah! yeah. Larvesta, the Probobus. The Ventral Punch, the Skarmory, the Carvana, the Toad Scroll, oh, the Houndoom! There okay. it is, All something. Right. We haven't pulled one of those yet. Uh, you know, if I wasn't being serious on that particular occasion, right. it wouldn't have done it. So, let's see, the Houndoom, $1.38. Highly Good impressive. Rounding, I mean, so. basically as high as it gets is pretty much as far as I'm concerned. Three points! Booyah, there it is. Well done, Wilhelmina. Enjoy. All right, next up we have got Kevin. Kevin. All right. There we go. I have a down the street neighbor named Kevin. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. You think this is him? Pro pro probably. Probably. It seems, it seems like it you would know. not surprise me. It actually wouldn't surprise me even if I hung out with Kev and Kev was just like, yeah, I'm not telling you that. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> I've been yeah I've been playing your game for like years. Oh my You don't gosh. know it's me. You don't know it's me. Yeah. I feel like we would because we'd probably just recognize the address at some point. That's probably who's true. to say? Maybe he uses a PO box. Oh, I uh, forget. Yeah. He would. <laughs> also. <laughs> Token of Mario, Maul Wild, Probo Pass, Ventral Bunch, Skarmory, Letter of Encouragement, Sharpedo, minus the Espeon and the Darkrai. So just one point. Is the Darkrai gonna tie them down there at. And you know what? You can set it aside. I'll just drive it on over to him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Um, what is the Darkrai worth? Is that oh, I'm so sorry. I will, I will check the Darkrai. What number is it? Let me see. It is 136. 136 for Darkrai. It's gonna be 18 cents. 18 cents. Wow. So, so not so good. It's bad. Place. So good. It's bad. Right in there. Uh, you're in good company, I guess. Yep. Yep. All right. Next up, we have Vincent. How are we gonna do? We are down to our final four players of the day. Is oh, am I up? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna go. Go. Okay. Let's do it. Vincent. I think you gotta grab my extra right there. Yes. Okay, you got that. You're all got right. it. You no got it. Yeah. You're a professional. You've mm -hmm. done this before. I've hosted the show. Okay. I've hosted the show. 
<laughs> not to brag, but... Alright, we got the Toad School, the Inkay, the Cleffa, the Larvitar, the Floatzel, the Umbreon, the Lapras. Man, nothing, nothing. going on. What the Togetic, the Salandit, and, and the, the Toxtricity. Gosh. Gosh. This one, this is the 14th center. It I'm is a 14th center. All right, so at least fact. you're in last. At least you're in last. So take can, solace in the fact you know, that you couldn't have performed worse if you tried. That's right. Call, call your girlfriend. Let her know. Just like, hey, get good news. I'm in last. Last place. It's happening. Things are things are going forward there. All right. Next up, we've got Icy. As in vanilla. As in vanilla. Okay. There we go. Or chocolate. Or chocolate icy. Or pistachio? Pist I mean, is pistachio ice cream I don't think any of those other flavors are also wrappers, so. Oh, okay. You know, you know I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, maybe. Have, have you been to a pistachio ice concert <laughs> recently? <laughs> Off the beaten path a little bit. <laughs> Nothing. Sorry, continue. We're fine. We're fine. <clears throat> All right, Icy. We got Mawile. <laughs> <laughs> New Mel, Tadmold, One Tree, Your Darmanis, and Stoutland, Lanoon, the Steenie was for, oh! and the Victini! <clears throat> we haven't seen that one yet. Steenie and the Victini, the classic combo. Let's see, what number is that? That's gonna be 33. 33, feels like a front pager, and in fact it is 88, 82 cents rather. Oh man, so it's just going to be a two point pack. Just a two point pack for Vincent. Or, Enjoy your pistachio ice No, concert. not Vincent, two. Oh, Icy! Icy! icy. Oh my gosh, I am all over the point place today, guys. I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. As mentioned earlier, it's Cartavian. Cartavian. Here we go. Uh, watching with their best bud in the whole world, whose name I forgot, but who was a rookie today. Which storm? Which storm? Which storm? Which storm? And Cartavian hanging out, watching, you know, CB Cube together, having a ball. Probably the best day of the whole month, if I had to guess. I bet they're excited. They're in the same episode. I know that is together, cool, hanging right? out. Right? But who's gonna win? How much did Witchstorm get? We wrote that down. We got four points. Four points? Let's see. Who's going to win the Battle of the Couch? Uh, Phantom, Tynamo, Numel, Granbull, Malamar, Clodsire, Buizel, Bronzor, and oh. Togekiss. Wow, I think Witch Storm takes it home. It takes it home. There they you get to go. decide where you're eating dinner. That's right, but not the Olive Garden because Witch Storm <laughs> lost. <laughs> But you can go anyway. Still feeling a little like still, bruised up about know, it. So. Right? Yeah. You know what? You know what? Treat your wounds with some Parmesan breadsticks. There we go. Why not? Here we go. Final contestant of the day. It's Alyssa. All right, Alyssa. Who, boy, came off a 20 point season into a two point season last time. Can they do a little better? We're about to find out. Last pack magic. Out. Last pack magic. Oh, and indeed some magic is at play. We got the Finizen, the ball toy, the, the Rowlet. Rowlet. There we go, the Diglett, the Espeon. The Espeon with its best friend Sharpedo, uh, I guess. As for always, Lechonk, not Spoink though. Not Spoink. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, we got the one Different trio. Pig. And the, and the Ente. Ente. Gosh, what a bummer. God, <laughs> man. So four, four points. <laughs> four points. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what Every time we get the multiplier, I'm like, this is it. This is huge. It's, I know. It's so funny how it's like the <clears> multiplier <throat> comes out and it really changes nothing. But at the same rate, it's like, well, almost certainly something amazing something is going to Something big is going to happen, there right? Yeah. And it has before, but I think the other problem is that there's like eight rare cards in the set. So it's like the same couple of faces. It's the Darkrai, the Entei, the Togekiss, the Toxtricity. It feels like the, the Togekiss is something you're almost the taking. The Claydol! It's almost something you're taking personally. What? What? Like, like you're just like, why is this card even in the set? Why? Like, just delete it entirely. Just, you know, give everyone a scissor and call it a day, man. You Command know? F, Togekiss, delete. <laughs> Command F, Control Find. Control yes. Find, yeah. Yeah, right, so, yeah. 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 I'm, 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 a, I'm on an Apple computer. I'm right. Macintosh. Yeah. Got it, yeah. got it, yeah. There we go. Anyway, guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning in. I am so excited about today's episode. I mean, scoring that, that. Dude, the Zard. The Zard. And the Pidgeot. And the Pidgeot. A big day. We have, once again, for the third week in a row, we have a new leader with Haley and Colin atop that leaderboard. The battle between Team Electric and Team Water is heating up Raging. as you may expect you would even you would even assume that team electric might have a, a slight advantage you might you think because they have the leaders with Haley and Colin right there I was thinking type advantage oh you know, type like advantage electric yeah, and right, water, of course. You know. yeah, yeah sorry anyway but anyway yeah so it would be very curious to see how the rest of the season plays out with just one episode I know if one I'm Haley and Colin I'm like oh my gosh there's been a lead change every episode but we have one week to go and we pulled the best card what could possibly happen could we're all waiting to find out yes we are yes 
Yes, we are indeed. Because if the trend continues, it will just mean something amazing it happens. It means something crazy has to happen. And I love it when something crazy happens on this show in particular. And if you would like to have something crazy happen to you, like us pull cards, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select that. the box breakers tier. I added the second one because the first time I accidentally did it and then I was like, maybe I can just make it like part of this like weird cadence delivery thing. Link to that is in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama! Uh. <laughs>